Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by for another video here on the channel. Now, if you're in the market for a string trimmer and you're on a budget, I may have the solution for you today. Today, I'm gonna to compare the Wild Badger Power 26cc 17 inch string trimmer and put it up against the Husqvarna 17 inch string trimmer as well. Now, this Wild Badger Power unit is almost $100 cheaper than the Husqvarna unit and the features are fairly similar. So we're gonna run through both trimmers. We're gonna put them to the test a little bit, go over the features, and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on what I think of both trimmers. So stay tuned. Now, upon opening the box, getting everything put together, which basically consisted on both units, of just inserting the shaft into the end. I did take the string off of these trimmers and put the same string on that I already use, a, a braided trimmer line that I've had great with success with. If you're interested in checking that out, check the link below and I'll put it in the description. But I just wanted everything to be comparable. Now, both of these units are very similar um, in weight, very similar in design as far as the guard up to the motor. And Wild Badger Power's mission is basically to make similar products to the name brands at affordable prices. Now, there's pros and cons of each unit that we'll go over, but let's just go over a little bit about each unit and what I think of them first impressions. Now, both these units are gas powered. They're gonna run on mixed fuel 50 to one ratio, um, which made it easy for me to mix up the same fuel to use in both trimmers. Now, I've been using these for a couple weeks now, um, trimming my yard so I could get a good feel for them and basically um, give you an honest review of what I've thought. Now, probably one of the biggest differences that I've seen right out of the box is the three-in-one functionality of this trimmer from Wild Badger Power. Now, it comes with the trimmer head and it also comes with uh, the 10-inch blade. So you can either edge with this or cut brush with this. So um, another thing I like about the trimmer is the ability to switch if you wanna edge you unscrew this little thing, this little knob, flip it into a side position, or even flip it into a backwards position, tighten the nut so you can keep your motor upright, but trim, whether you're edging sidewalks or edging with the actual edging blade on the sidewalks. So for the price, it's coming in at $137. And basically you're getting three tools in one. You're getting a brush cutter, you're getting an edger, and you're getting a trimmer. Now the other nice feature of this is its combination head. So the company claims you can use other heads from other brands. So you can buy this three-in-one tool and when you don't want to trim or use the edger, you can buy other attachments to put on here and make it more functional. The other thing I like about this too is the additional handle. So if you're going at an edge um, or whatever and you don't, you don't want to use this handle, you got this longer handle to give you better control of the trimmer. Now, as far as the Husqvarna goes, this is a nice trimmer as well. I do like the handle. I like how it has the quick attach. The handle was much easier on this unit to put together than this unit with the four Allen screws. And this one is a lot, uh, you're able to loosen this and move it a lot easier instead of loosening up Allen screws and having to get an Allen wrench. Similar features on this unit. Uh, this combo head will also, it will pop right off of the unit as so. So you can also put in different heads um, for different things. So first impressions, control-wise, feature-wise, the Wild Badger unit is almost identical to this Husqvarna unit. Um, just a few differences, like I said, the handles, uh, the switches are mostly the same, throttles mostly the same. But the main benefit you get out of this is that three-in-one functionality with the edging blade and the uh, blade that will also cut small limbs and the trimmer. So let's fire these things up and put them to the test.
Now, as you see, we took the head off. This piece is gonna thread back on here as so, and I apologize for the wind, guys. It's kind of a windy day. Um, but then we're gonna take our little piece here that goes on as so, and we have this uh, nut That's going to be a reverse thread, and then you can use this tool that they send with it, as well as, or use your own tools, um, but I'm just going to use what they sent here, and you can lock this up to really get it good and tight, as so. So now we have our blade on, let's give this thing a shot. So after using both these units for several weeks around the yard for trimming and even edging along my walks, I can say that in my opinion, I think that I do like the Wild Badger Power unit better for a few reasons. Now, number one, that my main concern with the Husqvarna is I had trouble getting it to idle. So I don't know if this is just a problem with this unit in particular or the brand overall. This is my first time using a Husqvarna trimmer, but I cannot get this thing to idle. Now I've tried to adjust the carb um, and tried to um, change some things up on it. And it just seems like it might have a fuel issue. I don't know. So I can't speak to if that's the whole brand or just this unit. Maybe I got a one that's not great, but that's probably something that can easily be fixed by um, somebody that knows what they're doing. I'm no engine expert, uh, but that's one of my concerns that I had with the Husqvarna. Now, the things that I liked about the Wild Badger Power Unit is A, the cost. Now, this thing is only 140 bucks, give or take, at the time of recording this video. And for that price, you get the trimmer with the, uh, the trimmer head on it. You also get the edging blade that can cut small limbs and brush, and you can use as an edger. Now, the Wild Badger Power Unit idled great, ran great, and started easier overall, uh, which I was really surprised with. Um, and really impressed with the overall quality and performance of that unit. Now, another thing I liked about both units was that the shafts twist and you can put them at different angles. Now, this made it a lot easier when trying to edge or using that brush cutter tool as an edger, made it a lot easier to see what you're doing. Also, when you're trying to edge upright along walkways or around beds, as I typically do, as I showed earlier in the video, it made it a lot easier to keep that engine upright let it run smoother, but still allow you to get at that angle to get that proper edge down on the grass. Now, I also like that the Wild Badger unit made it super easy to swap out the head. So the trimmer head twisted right off and I was able to put on the brush cutter head very easily with just the tools that they provided in the kit, as I showed earlier in the video. So my final conclusion after going over the features and the pros and cons of each unit, I would definitely recommend the Wild Badger trimmer over the Husqvarna trimmer, mainly for the cost and the features that it comes with it. So you're getting this Wild Badger power unit for about $100 cheaper than the Husqvarna unit. And I had better success with it. It ran better for me. It has better features. And overall, it just felt powerful and easy to use. Now, if you're interested in learning more about both trimmers and doing some research on them, check out the links in the description below so you can go to the Amazon listings for each and research the products and purchase them if you're interested. Now, I appreciate you watching. If you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss future content on the channel and updates about both of these trimmers as I continue to use them for the rest of the year and going forward. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time out in the lawn.